Now then guys, Matt here from MJ Automotive and I'm having to do a bit of a voiceover again due to the microphone not working at this point. Gonna have to have a look in to see why um, I've had a couple of times where it's not worked recently so I'll have to look into that. But anyway, we've got a 2012 Audi A3 in for uh, a clutch replacement due to the uh, pedal sticking down. So we're having to replace the concentric slave cylinder, so gearbox out, replacing the clutch and the slave cylinder at the same time. <coughs> It's also having the oil and filter, an oil and filter service done, so that it can, well, we'll get it, keep its serviced up nicely. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, going to be doing a bit of a walkthrough video, trying to keep the time down as well. It's going to be a two-parter due to the length of the video, so um, we're going to have to split it. Um, just to try and keep it uh, reasonable then. So yeah, we'll um, let you guys get watching and uh, we'll hope to see you guys soon. Right folks, so you join us at the top end of the engine. Uh, we've already done tech, tech and wheels off. It's 17 mil bolts for the wheels. The, uh, pro, the drive shaft bolts, which are female, t uh, no, 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 they're not. They are 12.24 mil, which is very specific to Volkswagen. Um, Vag. Vag group. Vagaldino. The, the, yeah, the Vag group. Uh, where they put on the drive shaft bolts. Uh, so you need a 12 pointed socket. Uh, so now we're at the top of the engine. So what we're going to be doing is taking this bit of the airbox off, airbox out, battery tray, battery and battery tray out. So then we're at the, so we can see the top of the gearbox. So let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. I'm going to drop her onto a time lapse. Now you know, like, there's, so you know what we're taking out. We've got to take this clip off here. And then an Allen bolt that's down there, which I will drop the size as like an overlay so you know what size bolt it is. And But yeah, I'll drop us on a time lapse so we can try and get everything in the video. So see you soon, guys. So now you can see, shift that out of the way, the top of the gearbox. Start motor at the left here. Then here's your uh, hydraulics that go into the slave cylinder. Uh, and then gear selector cables there. Gearbox mount here. So and then earth straps. So we're going to take an earth strap off to uh, gear selector cables and the bracket that join it. Shift them out of the way. Hydraulic cable, pop that out of the way, earth strap off the mount up here, uh, start motor out. But what we'll probably do is we'll probably go underneath, get the under tray off and start working some of the bits underneath so we can uh, get all that side out of the way. So we shall see you soon. Oh, and the that bolt that was for the airbox was a Allen key H5, uh, hex key 5. Just uh, That's exactly what it was. For everyone's... Uh, knowledge and it was crusty it was crusty they're always crusty the battery tray bolts were 10 millimeters uh there's a 13 millimeter bolt that holds the battery into the battery tray as well um just to so that you've got all the measurements of the bits you'll need very bloody informative this Matthew. it is very informative josh yes but yeah so, so we show everybody yep oh yes we have oh bloody lovely lovely look at that snazzy we, snazzy there we, there we, there we. Snazzy, snazzy, snazzy new jumpers. Bloody good shirt. Sure. Right, so, yeah. we've done the modelling now. Now we've done the modelling bit. Um, we're Paco Raban. Uh, anyone? I'm, now I'm going to go with somebody really nice, like H&M. H&M, yeah. Right, if, right. You, if, if you if you want to if you want to call, give us a call. More than welcome. Uh, Matalan. Matalan, yeah. Anyone like that hit will me up, hit. Matalan. Yep. Uh, for Josh, we're like Pikey Central or Farmers Union or somewhere. <laughs> well, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, I need that anyway. Oh, this to get a swapping undercharge. How long do you warrant me on these blue point sockets? Lifetime! As long as no one sees you doing that. Thank you, son. Good to happen. Remember, folks, if you need an angry spanner, wear goggles. Wear what? Goggles! What? Safety squints. Nope. Don't know what you mean. He's actually been sensible and got his and got the goggles. There's thing that's not sensible, impact, that impact gun there with battery on it. Right next to your foot, Nate, WD. Oh, it's the wrong colour, it's not very visible, this red. It needs to be yellow, back. No, do you know what it should be? And what would be a more sensible colour to our power tools? Green. Green. Not Milwaukee green, though, because they are too. Sorry, Milwaukee. But Just because they outdo I mean, you. Sorry, Mikita. <laughs> So, for everyone's reference, these uh, bolts that hold the ball joint on, nuts that hold the ball joint on, are 16 millimetres. Watch them inside. No, what time are we on anyway, Josh? 10 to 8. Oh, Alright, for a bit then. Put them back on because they'll be quite warm. <clears throat> Let them cool down for a little bit. Now I'll work, go over to the other side and work the other side. Josh, yeah. there's a lot of under tray bolts down there that need to be in an organiser. They do, Matty, and they'll go in an organiser. Well, I've got this fucking thing out of here. You having fun with it, Josh? <sighs> you going? Josh, you fuck. This may be one of those trusty bolts that you decide to cut the head off. Yeah, it could be. And then find a new way to secure the under tray. Look at that, you got another ball peen hammer out. How many yeah, hammers do I good one. How many hammers do I earn? Too many boy. You know it's sensible. I don't know why I'm kneeling directly on the floor when I have some nice kneeling mats inside. Stay absolutely fuck out. Yes, but it's the proper way to work a thread without so you don't snap it.
face. Hang on. Right. So, that is all six of the uh, bottom ball joint nuts worked out. You got a big hammer there? Big hammer? Yep. Lump hammer? Yep. Sounds very tight, doesn't it? Oh, it's tight, boy. Oh, fuck you are, mate, man. Just imagine if you did if you did this every day of the week, Josh. I would not be a happy man. Why do you think I always look so angry? I'd be built like the Hulk, though. In all fairness to me. Would you? Yeah. I get massive. I tell you. you do get quite. You do get a little bit, a good bit of strength out of it, like functional strength. Hey, look, she's off, guys. It's only taken him... Do what? Ten minutes, Josh. Ten minutes. To get that under trail. It took me nine minutes to do one fucking bolt. Yeah, so, anyway. Now that that's off, we can continue. See? Angry spanner, hammer, chisel. <laughs> what I think I'm going to have to do, guys, is drop you on a bit of a time lapse and then... Uh, we're doing that time rapidly. Yeah, well, we're on ten minutes there. On that section, so I think this is going to be have to be have to be a two or a three parter, potentially. So now oh, you can ten. see under there, um, the other side of the gearbox, we're going to have to drain the gearbox, get all the fluid, well, get get all the fluid out, uh, and then decide where we're going from there. So we'll see you guys soon. Right, folks, I'm back in uh, just to give you a bit more of a uh, talking to. Sound like a teacher there. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the drive shaft uh, in this gearbox end is actually held in by six bolts, and they are M10 spline bits. As you can see, these ones are rusty as arseholes. They're only a cheap set, a nice little Amazon set that you can get. So now Josh is going to get the big ratchet and break everything with the. Breaking things. No, Josh, we don't break things. No, I mean I like fixing things. And then just crack it off like so, and you do that. You do it by hand to crack, knock, crack them off because they're twelve-pointed spline bit, spline head bolts. You might have to put a screwdriver in there to stop it from rotating. Oh, mine tight. Yep. And what might. are you going to do while I'm doing that? Matthew? Explain what you're doing. <laughs> right. We'll cut out in a minute. We'll cut out and then cut back in shortly, soon, guys. So we'll see you soon. So folks, we're, I think we're going to call it it for a night because we're going to have to go to drop off a car. Um, we're, both drive shafts are out, the gearbox is drained, uh, the cool, battery tray is out, at wheels are off, under tray is off obviously. Uh, so next, next stage would be a case of uh, start motor off, gear selector cables off, all that sort of thing. So yeah, we're... Uh, we're, at the, we're done for this evening, uh, so we will cut back in tomorrow night when the, it will just be me, uh, and we'll get cracked on again. So see you guys in the next bit. So folks, you join us on evening number two, and we're going to be starting at the top end of the engine, uh, removing the start motor, which I'm imagining is 13 mil nut on there somewhere. Plug there, uh, gear selector cables, which there's a little. Clip there, like so, and then that one will just slot off. That one need a pry bar on to prise that off, and then there's a couple of clips there. Slot them out of the way. That's them out of the way. 
a little drum, a little clip there to pull the hydraulics off. I've just put a pair of mole grips on to stop the fluid seeping past. So yeah, uh, uh, 13 mil there, and we'll be starting to strip, uh, take all this top end off. So I'll drop you on a time lapse and get crept on. Right folks, so as you can see there's a bit less on the car, uh, start motors out, it was two 18mm very long bolts um, bolting the start motor up, uh, there's this bracket on the bottom that holds some of the wire in here um, that was onto the bottom starter bolt held on by a 13mm nut, um, which I had to remove as well, 13mm uh, nut holding the rest strap on there, clip for the hydraulics on there, Three 30, two 13mm bolts and a 13mm nut holding the gear selector cables on there. As you can see, we cable tied it up to hold the gear selector cables out of the way. Nice bright cable tie so you can see exactly what's, uh, where it is. And two, the top two gearbox bolts out so far, um, they were both 18mm as well, uh, so that's them. Uh, there's currently there's two plugs down there that I'm going to be undoing any imminently so that, that gets them out of the way and then to get that out of the road that's one that's one out of the way sorry guys I'm blinding you blinding uh, and then the second one there we go that's both both of them out of the way that's the, all that wiring there out of the way. What I think I'll do is I'll get a cable tie, tie that back, so it's not gonna get snagged by the gearbox when we're taking that out. So next up, we will move to the underneath and start stripping off the underside components as till we're at the point where the gearbox is gonna be coming out. So we'll see you in a minute. Right, so next up, we're going to be removing the arch liner so then we can, uh, so then there's a bit more of a channel for the gearbox to come out of. Uh, when we're actually getting when the box is actually due to come out so that's the next part of call so we'll drop you on a, again we'll drop you on a time lapse and get started on that right so that section of arch liner should actually be sufficient as to what we need out of the way so next up, we're going to be getting the drive shaft cups out, which is an Allen key bolt that we'll be taking off, so we can remove the drive shaft cup. Mainly because we need the one on the offside out, and but we'll, if both of them, if the bolt is together, we may as well just take both out, and then they're out of the way. So we shall get a long Allen key and get those out, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. So guys, we're back in at the top just so I can have a bit of a talk. Um, the all the gearbox bolts around the top are out, all around the sides are out, and there's just one left in at the bottom. So next, the next step we're going to be doing is finding something to put underneath the engine to spot the engine's weight, so then we can unbolt the gearbox mount here and here. So that's off, and we can lower the lower the engine ever so slightly to get to the to get the gearbox in a position where we can move, maneuver it out, then we'll be going underneath, removing that last bolt out, out of the bottom of the gearbox, and then pulling the box out. So, all being well, that gearbox will be out imminently. So, I'll cut back in a minute when we we'll find something to, uh, to park the engine. So folks, as you can see, we have our trusty three ton SGS trolley jack. This thing has taken some absolute hammering 
uh, over the time we've owned it. It has done everything and more that we have asked of it. It is something I cannot recommend enough. Uh, you can see by the state of it, it's taken some flack. But yeah, I can't recommend it enough. It's heavy, but it's lifted everything. Right? And I mean everything. It's had big transits lifted with it. No matter what we put on it, it's lifted. It has done the works. I cannot recommend this jack enough. Uh, so SGS Engineering, take your hats off, guys. That is an exceptional product. Um, so now, as you can see, but yeah, as you can see, we've got it supporting the bottom of the engine with one of our um, rubber rubber blocks from the set of quick jacks we've got in the garage. So that's in a position now to support the engine. So we're going to move back up to the top and remove the gearbox mount, and then we can lower it down and get the gearbox out. So we'll see you in a minute. So we're back at the top, and then we have the oh, it's an 18. They're 18s, 18 millimeter. What an awkward size. But yeah, 18 mil bolts. Let's see if we've got an 18 socket somewhere. Go the 3 8 drive. Yep, we do. And it's a chrome one. Ooh. Got, got all of the chromes. <laughs> That's tight. Well, I would hope so, with it being a uh, gearbox support bolt. And now we'll start cracking these off and see what happens. Jesus Christ. Sounds like there's some gimp running over. I, I apologise for that. I shouldn't have referenced that said it's something so, so crude about Joshy Boy. He's back. That sounds like there's a gimp running over. It did, didn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, pulling the gearbox out, mate. Right. Uh, I have a question. I was thinking about this on my way home, all the way home. Right. What's uh, your question, mate? Does the transmission jack go high enough? No, but the trolley jack does. Have a look. Yeah, have a look. That's give that, not, give that a jack. I'm going to do a Williams. What don't go high enough? I haven't I haven't checked it, mate. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a Williams. Oh yeah, out. Like a like the unit I am. Something like that, yeah, he will be. Um he's a very strong man. Yeah, very ve yeah, very, very strong man. Uh, that's Williams Clutch Services. Um, on Kevin Albert Williams Clutch Services on YouTube. Uh, every, and I've seen him lifting some gearboxes that are absolutely ludicrously heavy. I know they're heavy because I've lifted them myself with assistance. And he's gone and lifted them on his own. It makes him look like blocks of Lego. Yeah, he does. He's a... He's a bit... He is. Uh, you got a yeah. Never mind. I was just about to say, have you got a deep eighteen mil? Doesn't matter. Because what? What do you mean you weren't going to go get it? So that is, I apologise Josh, but you haven't got a microphone so people might not be able to actually hear you. Oh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that is the gearbox mount out of the way. So now the gearbox is actually ready to come out. So we'll go, and, we'll go down to the bottom and see if I'm strong enough to actually get this gearbox out on my own. <laughs> Josh is going to laugh at me while I get crushed by it, I imagine. Are uh, you going in? You're not going to watch me do it? Because it is about to come out. Like, now. How many bolts are holding it? One. Okay, I'll watch. So, I shall see you guys in a minute. Right, um, we're at it. Do you want to grab us, quickly, an 18mm yeah. ratchet spanner? <clears throat> Just 
still think we should strap that to our top. Yes, I agree. It would make masses of sense. Can you see what you're doing? It's not an 18 mil, it's a 16. I can just see there is a torch semi blinding me, but it's all right because all I'll need to, all I know is that when I start, when it starts coming out, it'll just be a case of it's crushing me, won't it? Yes, it will. That's my worry. It's all right, mate. It's all right. Do you remember the BMW gearbox? Yes, I do. What the one that went in, came out, went in. <laughs> we no, don't need to reference out, that. In, came out, went back in. Well, we got a ge <laughs> we got a BMW gearbox in and out in 13 seconds <laughs> the fastest ever gearbox job ever right. so right so well, it's hitting the uh, sub suspension that'll be a sub frame when it's oh there it goes it was anyway uh, can you make sure that there's no it's snagged on that because i think there is Bear with me, bear with, bear with, bear with. Alright, go on. You out? Yeah. Cool, yeah? Sure? Yeah, looks good. <sighs> yeah. And that is how you remove the gearbox from an Audi A3 on your driveway. On your Todd. On your Todd. Well, I, I wasn't on my Todd the entire time. Go. But yeah, so that's the gearbox out, as you can see, and there is the clutch and flywheel. So that is actually us done for today. Um, Bloody we'll good get everything hell. tidied up, cut, put back in, and then we'll join. You'll join us back here tomorrow. So we we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>